everyone, welcome back to Charlie Can, and I love beef jerky. So today we have all these different kinds of original beef jerky, and I'm gonna be ranking them on our little podiums, one, two, three. And none of these are sponsors in any way. So let's get started. All right guys, I am so hungry and I'm ready to eat. So the first one we have is Kroger Original Smokehouse Jerky. So let's smell it. Oh, that smells so good. But before I tried this, I just wanna remind you guys that I'm rating, ranking these based on my opinion on what's the best. These are all different prices, but I don't care about the price. I just care about the taste. All right, let's get started. Three, two, one. And it's really good. And since this is the first one I'm trying, I'm gonna have to put it in another one, but that's actually really, really good. So let's move on. So next up we have Jack Link's Beef Jerky Original. And so far, this is usually what I always get. And so far it's been my favorite, but I can't say it's my favorite yet because most of the ones that we have here, I haven't even had yet. So let's try it, three, two, one. Hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. They're both really good. I can't decide. All right, so next up we have Alberto. And I've never even heard of this brand, so smell the bag. Mmm, it smells like different. It smells different. And I just noticed, guys, look. Look at this guy. It's Alberto. That's Alberto. Guys, it's really thin and hard to chew, like, compared to, like, the Kroger, it's, like, really thin. I don't know. I'm gonna have to say it's, I'm gonna have to rank it number three. So next up, we have Great Value Beef Jerky Original. And guys, look, looks like a rib cage. Looks like a little rib cage. Oh, that smells real good. And everything in there is little chunky. Looks like it just came out of Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. Three, two, one. I think that this beef jerky is a little bit better than the Kroger beef jerky. So I'm gonna have to put the great value at one, Jack Link's at second, and Kroger at third. Next up we have Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray's Original Beef Jerky. Try it, three, two, one. Mmm. Now that is good. It's a little drier than most of these, but I think the flavor is a lot better. I'm gonna try like a little few more bites to see where they should be, so. And then let's see if we have Jack Link's here. All right, let's try it. Jack Link's, sorry. Going on the third. And the bridge for Sweet Baby Ray's is going to second. So next up we have Simple Truth Organic Original Beef Jerky, which says that it's grass fed. The pieces in there look pretty thin and well, I don't know, so let's try it. Hard. Mmm. Uh guys. I don't know if I like it as well. It tastes like kind of dry and not really flavorful. I'm gonna have to not rank it on any of these. All right, so we have Tillamook Country Smoked Old Fashioned Beef Jerky. What makes it old fashioned? What makes it old fashioned? But guys, again, we have another little rib cage. <laughs> What's happening, these little cows running around town? Oh, that smells really good. And the pieces in there look really thick and look really juicy. Mmm. So I noticed that these are really hard to bite into. And that's really soft and so juicy. It's like exploding flavors in my mouth. So we're gonna rank the Tillamook number one. And we're gonna put the great value at third. 
And I'm surprised because Jack Links is like my favorite out of all of them. Well, they were before I... What am I doing with my life right now? Now, before I tried all of these, Jack Links was my favorite. But now I'm starting to rethink my whole beef jerky world. So next, we have Rural King Original Beef Jerky. So next time, you're at Rural King and you're getting yourself a new tractor and you start feeling hungry, get yourself some beef jerky. Oh, that smells really good. And the pieces look really thick and nice. Mmm, that is good. So, I'm gonna have to see the Royal King is gonna go to second. The Bridgeford is gonna go to third. Now we have Crunchy Archer Provision. Grass-fed beef jerky original. And guys, look, we got another big red cage. Look how big this is. It's really juicy. And the flavor's a little barbecue-y. That is really, really good. I'm gonna have to say, the Country Archer Provisions is gonna go two second. The Rural King Original is gonna go to third. So here we have Cutterman's Cut Beef Jerky Original. So this looks actually really good. I noticed that it looks like really red for some reason. I don't know why, I just noticed it looks super red. Oh, that smells really good, guys. Mmm, and everything in there's nice and thick and really big, I noticed that in a lot of the bags, the other bags, there were quite a few small pieces. Condiments cut, three, two, one. Mmm. All right, I feel wrong doing this, but Cuddleman's Cut is better than the Tillicamook. What? And guys, the Tillicamook was really, really good. So the Cuddleman's Cut is really, 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 really good. The Tillicamook is going to go to second. And the Country Archer is going to go to third. Now we have Chef's Cut Real Jerky Company Original Recipe. Okay, so looks pretty nice, so let's smell it. Mmm, that smells, it smells good, but it also smells really different. Mmm, mmm. Guys, it's so good it doesn't even taste like beef jerky. Like, it tastes like you could get this at like a five-star restaurant. Mmm. Chef's Cut Real Jerky, you're going to number one. And I'm gonna have to say, the Cuddleman's Cut is going to second. So this is our last beef jerky. We have Old Trapper, Old Fashioned Beef Jerky. Guys, I guess everything's old. Got an Old Trapper, Old Fashioned. Ooh, that smells really good. And everything's really thick, it has like, all these little lines on it. I should have point out. Look at old trap right here. He's wearing some ra raccoon skin and a little raccoon hat. The leather jacket. Beard. Just look at him. Old trapper reminds me of the special somebody. from the news and when I'm hungry I like to get out some beef jerky I'm gonna try this old trapper and let you know what I think about it all right three two one oh boy that's good hmm let's try this Ooh, that smells really good. Mmm. 
Mmm. That is so good, guys. It's juicy. It's not too hard or soft. That is some good beef jerky right here. So the Old Trapper Old Fashioned Beef Jerky is going number one. Okay, so what was our results? So at number three, we got Tillicamook. In number two spot, we got the Chef's Cut Real Jerky Company. And at number one, drum roll please. We've got Old Trapper Old Fashioned Beef Jerky. All right, guys, all its glory right here. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, if Charlie can, you can too. Charlie can. I get yourself some old trapper. But these, these beef jerker right here can help you when you're gaming hard. Look at it, just look at it. It's stable, it's nice, it's juicy, it's red. You need this.